a great mission and a great miracle. Salve Maria! Can you imagine what it's like to say goodbye to your spiritual father who had opened your soul to love of God and neighbor and to set out on a dangerous journey to the unknown horizons of the East? A turn of events. It is the year 1540. The man chosen for the mission in the East suddenly falls sick and Francis Xavier is chosen to take his place. We can imagine the scene. Saint Francis kneeling before his father and founder, Saint Ignatius of Loyola of the Society of Jesus for a final blessing. Saint Francis, his heart is beating fast with a mixture of enthusiasm and pain. Enthusiasm because his secret desire is about to come true. He is setting off for India. Who knows, he might even win the long-awaited palm of martyrdom and pain because he is saying goodbye, perhaps for the very last time, to his saintly spiritual father, Saint Ignatius. Saint Ignatius felt the same joy and pain, but knew that bidding farewell to this faithful disciple meant gaining a continent of souls. With this thought, he addressed his beloved son, with these words, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Xavier, I had selected Nicholas for India, but God has this day chosen you. Rejoice at finding an opportunity of satisfying that fervent desire we all have to carry the faith to remote countries. It's not a narrow strip of land like Palestine or a province of Asia that now lies before you, but immense countries and numberless kingdoms an entire world is reserved for your labors. In so large a field is well worthy of your zeal and courage. Go, brother, where the voice of God calls you, where the Holy See sends you, and spread among those unknown nations the fire that burns within your own breast. Then, Saint Ignatius takes off his own cape and places it around the shoulders of his beloved son, a symbol of his fatherly protection, which would accompany him in all his apostolic labors, infusing courage where strength could fail. They embrace, their hearts united with the same fire. They know this is their last encounter on earth. They will only meet again in heaven. We might imagine the travels of St. Francis Xavier to be full of excitement and superhuman feats such as calming of storms and miracles beyond imagination. And they were. But great miracles always result from unshakable faith and heroic sacrifice. Now. Here is a beautiful detail that will especially touch any of the mothers who are joining us for this novena. During the 10 years that Francis spent battling for souls in the East, on the other side of the world, in the castle of Navarre in Spain, his saintly mother continually prayed before a crucifix for the success of his evangelization in those faraway lands. Several times, this crucifix miraculously sweated blood. At those moments, she sensed that her son was in great danger or interior trial, and she prayed all the harder to the crucified Lord. When the crucifix bled for the last time, his mother knew by divine revelation that her son had died. This holy mother had given her son entirely to our Lord, and her prayers, inspired by this miracle, gained for him the graces he needed to overcome all obstacles, because the communion of saints does not depend on technology, but on the supernatural bond of love. Try it out for yourselves. I assure you that you will find it more effective than you can imagine. 
Now, let's pray our Novena prayer, asking St. Francis to inflame our hearts with the same fire that kept his soul ablaze and convince us that confident prayer is always answered. O most kind and loving St. Francis Xavier, in union with you, I adore the Divine Majesty. The remembrance of the favours with which God blessed you during life and of your glory after death fills me with joy. And I unite with you in offering to God my humble tribute of thanksgiving and of praise. I implore you to secure for me, through your powerful intercession, the all-important blessing of living and dying in the state of grace. I also beseech you to obtain the favour I ask in this novena. But if what I ask is not for the glory of God or for the good of my soul, obtain for me what is most conducive to both. Amen. Join us tomorrow as we voyage with St. Francis Xavier to the Far East as he confronts fire and sword for the conquest of souls. Salve Maria! If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.